police in just a few hours at 2.30 this afternoon at the St. Bernard Parish Council Chambers. That's where local leaders will join Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser to share those details. Now, some St. Bernard Parish residents we spoke to welcome the thousands of jobs the Louisiana International Terminal would bring and the billion dollars in tax revenue expected to be generated, according to the Port of New Orleans. But others say what the Port of New Orleans sees as benefits will have a negative impact on their quality of life. One group called Stop the Destruction of St. Bernard Parish, Inc. actually filed a lawsuit citing concerns of increased traffic in their small community and environmental impacts from the shipping terminal. A judge shot it down at the end of last year, but left the door open for future litigation as the port moves through the federal permitting process. The Port of New Orleans proposed a nearly $2 billion terminal three years ago. They say the new facility will allow them to compete with other ports in our region. They also say they've done extensive research on sustainability and the new highway expected to be built a part of this project to ensure minimal impacts to the surrounding communities. Now, with a $74 million grant from the state, the port is on track to start construction in 2025 and open in 2028. We will be looking forward to see if this report released today will have any impact on that timeline. Back to you.